Hiya fishy folks and welcome back to Michael's Fish Room. Today, a fish room tour of some Pleco breeders. Grab a healthy snack and beverage. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, as you come into the basement and turn the corner, you see a ginormous hot water heater that sort of gives us hot water for this little but big fish room. I'm here with Michelle and Ed. Say hi, Michelle and Ed. Hi. Hi. And they breed plecos and some rice fish and what else? They have some shrimp. And some shrimp. And uh, we're going to do a tour. Where should we start? All right, let's start over here. It's okay. easy. Um, there on the bottom we have short fin blue-eyed lemons. Oh, I love those. Uh, the middle tank is the long fin blue-eyed lemons. Look at these guys. I have some at home that I'm breeding, but they're not really into breeding right now they're for some reason. Either. So zucchini mm -hmm. with a nice metal rod, stainless steel. Mm -hmm. Somebody told me about that. I just use an old fork. And you have matten filters and sponge filters? We had all matten filters before and now we're changing over. Why? Because of the bug issue. Ah. Little gnats. <laughs> Little gnats. What do we have up top? Uh, long fin reds. Long fin red grow outs. Babies. No, there's, oh, the there's parents in there. In there. Too. Yep. Oh, look, there they are. What temperature do you keep your tank set? Um, usually mid 70s. Yeah, me too. Some babies, maybe they're a little higher, closer to 80. I spy a china filter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love these racks. Where'd you get them? Um, my husband, Ed, built them. Big Ed built them. I basically reviewed what everybody else was out there doing, and I decided that I liked some of the things some of the people were doing, but since I was putting so much weight on them, I wanted to make sure all my... Uh, supports were notched yeah. to carry the weight. Sure. So I went ahead and went with two by sixes instead of two by fours, notched them all, and it's been working out pretty well. I, I love them. They look great. And then my wife made sure that I painted them. Yeah, that's a good thing, painting them. And uh, what do we have down here? Uh, another tank of long fin reds. Oh, long fin reds. Oh, look at the baby. Look how cute. Just chilling, eating some food. With some Indian almond leaves. Yes. And a china filter and a sponge yes, filter. And a sponge filter. And a plant. A lot of your tanks have plants actually, now that I think about it. Yes. Just for Just for me. Just for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like it. I like the plants. Look at the babies in the mom. Yes. How do you feel about mom? Um, a lot different than I used to. <laughs> Why is that? Um, they survive a lot better. Um, in the mommy tanks and being in with their parents. Yep. Excellent. Yep. I think she learned that from a handsome YouTuber. I did. <laughs> Same as Mike. How do you, how do you like the uh, aquarium co-op filters? Um, those are new for us. We just got those, what, maybe about a month ago or yep. so. They're the first ones that we're trying out. Um, what so we far, I love was, them. What we found was sometimes when you feed powdered food for mm -hmm. the babies, we were having problems with the other filters um, clogging up. So we're trying these filters uh, because they're a lot more coarse and they seem to be working out pretty well. So um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm friends with Corey and uh, I'm changing every sponge filter in my fish room to these. Are you? Yeah. yeah. Slowly but surely. Yeah, we'll probably do. And we, I think we we'll have probably more. do the same thing. We yeah. have more of them. Yeah, have but it was just, just a matter of getting them in there and getting them cycled. Yeah, I, so I have sixty tanks. I probably have them in twenty tanks right now. I love them strictly because I'm lazy, so I don't do sponge filter maintenance like I should. You know, we're talking every six months. I'm like, oh crap, that looks really bad. This one probably won't clog up at all. The other ones definitely clog up over time. So, what's funny, you know, when we first started, every tank had a matten in it, and well, I love the mattens. They're tremendous filters. They filter well. We never had a problem with water, you know, clarity, but we did have a problem with gnats. Gnats love to breed in the top of the filter, the sponge part that is above the water mm -hmm. line, and it was just became an issue. So we didn't, 
initially figure out that's what the cause was. And as we moved, removed mattens and went to traditional you know, sponges, to spo traditional sponges, our gnat population reduced. Just, I guess, a fish room is just. It's the environment is perfect for gnats. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sure. Humid. Yeah, yeah. Plenty Humid. Of food. All right. So down here we have long fin reds, and then long fin albinos. They're so beautiful. So lots of wood, lots of different caves. I see you got the watering spikes. We got some zucchini and some green pepper. Nice. So as how long are you going to leave the sponges in before you take the mattens out? Um, I don't even... We probably could pull that we out now. We could probably pull them out. They've been out in there for a they've while. They've probably been in there for... We we found that people typically say, as long as you get another filter in there, you can swap them out. But we found that when we do that early, the water clouds up. Mm -hmm. So clouds, well, clouds up bacteria bloom or clouds up from... Yeah. yeah, it just restarts. Yeah. yeah, so you got that cycle issue. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So we, we kind of take this size. It, it's kind of four weeks. I would, before, I would probably say that. Yeah. 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 Before the, you can swap filters. Do you notice the babies eating off the sponge? Yes. Oh, like, that's so yes. cool. They're like, ar, ar, ar. Yep. yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right, so up top I see some babies. Reds? Uh, standard reds. Standard yep. reds. And there's, I can't see because of the glare there. Oh. Sorry, buddy. I tapped the glass, scared the bejesus out of him. There's a dad or a mom. Mom, probably. Like mom. Yeah, me too. All right. So every tank has its own heater. And... You probably won't see anything in there. They're on the under, underside of the wood. What is it? What are they're they? blue flash. Blue flash. I'd like to see them. Well, you're probably... I think I see one. I just don't know if it's... I don't know. All right, what do we got here? Uh, there, there's a contradance. And what are they? I can't remember what they Maybe L201s. Like they, maybe. they look sexy. Yeah, they're high pan, high pan sisters. Just a uh, a pair? Um, there's actually, well, I actually had two pair, and I lost one of the females. In a little scuffle. Right after they got them, so mm. now I have two males and a female. In here, two males? They don't. There's no aggression. I haven't seen any yet. They pretty much stated themselves. Okay. At least so far. And uh, China filter, not a fan. I think it's it's not. I'm getting rid of all. Yep. Yeah, they're all yep. getting taken out as yep. we're getting the other ones ready. Yep. And then down here we got some more baby reds. They are. That's actually the calico tank. Oh, the red mutt. <laughs> yes, I have. I have one red female in there that was out of calicos, and then I, the other the males are all calico males. Yeah, I. The ones I have in my fish room are from you, and they're growing out, and I, I can't wait to put them on the website as super red calico mutt plecos. Yep. And nothing on the bottom because it's too hard to train too tanks. Too hard for me to get down there. Yeah, yes. I'm, I'm the same it's way. It's like the contradents don't have an L number. They're just called high band citrus contradents. Now in here, I don't see any plecos. No, just rice fish. Rice fish. Black lame. Black lame rice fish. That sounds like a fancy name for fish. What kind of heaters do you guys use? Uh, whatever's on sale. No, uh, we buy most of our heaters come from Jemco. So there's a jump, and my only requirement for the heaters is that they have a cord that's at least six feet long. Wow, Jemco heaters have a six foot cord. Yeah, that's a long cord. A lot of the, you have a lot, a lot of, of problems with. Like oh yeah, yeah. The, I, the I cheap need to make them. I, I need to have a breach to our outlet. I don't like. Them. So you have outlets up here for all the yes, lights and heaters. Yep, and then you attach the. Uh, racks to a two by four that's attached to the wall. Yes. Yeah, so Very uh, basically nice. have the uh, tanks are st stabilized so they don't fall over. Uh, so, so basically I mean, they're earthquake proof. Well, or, <laughs> you know, you if we happen to grab hold of it, and it's not going to come over. Uh, it's brilliant. So Brilliant. Yeah, I've got uh, the two by four screw to lag bolted to the uh, studs behind the wall. Very nice. All right, so more rice fish. These are orange. Orange Medicas. 
And then up top. Those are um, Daisy's Blue Rice Dish. With lots of algae on the glass. I love algae on the glass. They love it too. Yes. All right, moving on. Okay, so first of all, I just have to show you these tanks. They are 30 breeders, which is one of the coolest tanks ever, I think. It's the same footprint as a 40, but shorter. A 40 breeder, but shorter. And uh, I, I bought one at a flea market for 30 bucks, because I'll only pay a dollar per gallon for a used tank at the most. And it was old school and heavy, and I hurt my back carrying it to my car, because, you know, the glass was thick. And then I broke it, because I'm an idiot, when I went to move it. So, yeah, yeah. No, it was after I had it in my fish room for a year that I broke it, but I still broke it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then these over here are just 20 longs, right? Correct. Yeah, okay. And then 10s. All right, so what do we have up top? They are long fin, um, albino, um, not, uh, long fin calicos. Sorry. Long fin, just standard calicos. Yeah, they're the regular boring brown. Like camouflage calicos. Well, well, oh, yeah. Yeah, I bought that as a baby with the group that I bought. Mm -hmm. He's out of those parents, although he's the standard. Fin, but he's just the long, gotcha. boring brown. And ones. I see a little, maybe albino baby. On the glass. They're actually their babies. They yeah. I mean, they, they throw all kinds of stuff. I know. Yeah. That's what I'm afraid of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, this might be my favorite thing ever. Just a bunch of long, thin reds, chilling, eating. And you're. I have my GoPro in here for some underwater footage later, and they're all like, hey, what's this? Looks delicious. What is this in the back? That is um, a little. Um, place where I put my eggs if they kick them out. Ah. So there's about 10 blue flash babies in there that the dad picked out of that front tank. Yeah, every now and again I get a pleco that kicks eggs out. Once in a while I do. Or a random one or two here or there. And yeah. I just throw them in there together. Okay. Look at all these plecos just chilling on this java fern. Java fern? I'm not a plant person, but I know a little bit. Do you like these, these flat rectangle caves? I do. He doesn't. Because they're heavy and he's afraid I'm going to throw them. Oh, I'm with Ed. I just don't like how they look. I like these because they're cheap. Yeah, I mean, I like them. They're nice for the little ones that they can all kind of pull like out the together. I like the way those slate caves look. Yeah, I do. Too. I just don't like the fact that when we clean the cave, you can drop it, it's going to crack the bottom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where, you and know, I, I probably could get away with dropping one of the They do get spikes. a little slimy. I've dropped them. You can, yeah. Yeah. You can. All right, what is this? Down so here. That is an, uh, 30, L32 male. L32 male. And then a coconut cave. And then a super red male? Yeah. He's, 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 our, kind of our, he's kind of the dad of the tank. He's kind of babysits the babies. You can see gotcha. our tempestos. Yeah. Oh, in here too? Yeah. There yeah. he is. He has oh. one. We have one. And then we have a. Um, is uh, that a blue. A, a blue. Do you see her? Yes. Oh, yeah, she's uh, back there in the corner. A yeah. blue. Those were failed attempts. Um, blue. blue oh my God! Yes, blue ram. Those were failed attempts. I hate getting old. Um. Hold on, I was gonna say something. Blue. Da, 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 I, I hate getting old. Blue ram. I forget what I was gonna say. What were we talking about? Gosh, I hate getting old. Look, more mom. I'm just gonna go to the mom because. <laughs> So I, when I got here, Ed was like, "Look, she she's finally been okay with the mom." I've tried so many different things. I've tried taking the caves out of the tanks and putting them in those breeder things. Mom is I've where just, it's at. I've just given up on everything else. Mom is where it's at. It's like a smorgasbord for the babies. It is. Yeah. It is. See, it comes from a breeder. All right. I agree. Down here? Um, that was just a grow out tank where the long fence were. So there's a couple baby albinos in there and a little male calico over there. Yeah. Pulled and I, I see you have Corys in some tanks. Is that some, just as a cleanup crew? Yeah. Or just, a little, just dithers? A bit. Yeah. Just dither fish too. Yeah. Okay. All right. And what? that's what the minnows are for. Yeah. We thought maybe the 32s would be a little bit more comfortable, but we couldn't get them to breathe for a while. So, so these are the L32s mm -hmm. and the long, thin blue eye. Yeah, sexy. <laughs> sexy girl right there. She didn't go the last time because she went big enough. So. Okay. Last 30 breeder. 
More 32s? No, that's the 134. Oh. 134 tank. 134s that aren't breeding for you. Right. So, yeah. so Tom Endler, if you're listening, can you help my friends breed their L134s, please? <laughs> Yes, they would appreciate it. So would I, because then I will buy them from them. <laughs> and then I love the little... That's my claiming board. I, I love it. Mm -hmm. I, I do. I know I'm not disorganized, but I do love it. And it's then, hard to keep, because I can't clean all of them in one day. So yeah. it's hard to remember which ones were done first the last time. And, and some people mark it on the tank, and I'm like, that, that takes away from the tank. Yeah. Well, yeah. usually the only thing we mark on tank is when we find it. Like I used yeah. to do that. I don't even do that anymore. I, these are the ones I moved. After I moved yours that you were picking up today, I moved babies in there again. So I at least wrote down what I moved in there. Okay. And then you got the cute little art. My son's girlfriend painted that. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And then ice cream. Now, we actually feed different food every day. So we have our food divided up into, we alternate every three days. Oh, look at that, ABC. Now so, I, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Yeah. So we have, the C is actually veggie day when we, because we only do vegetables every third day. And the other, repashi day and then fresh, or frozen, frozen day. day. Okay. So we alternate. So we have different food that complements the Rapashi, the veggie, and the frozen. Which rapashi do you feed? I I kind of use all of them. Okay, fair enough. Because usually when I make rapashi, I I do about six tablespoons of rapashi at a time, and I usually put in two tablespoons of soil and green, one tablespoon of uh, the growth one bottom scratcher and occasionally morning wood and uh, so because it's all plecos I don't really have any use for the other right um, different flavors, flavors I call them yeah yeah <laughs> so <laughs> mixtures when, when I yeah mixtures when I use rapashi I always did morning wood and a community or a growing spawn because yeah. the the guppies would eat it and the plecos would eat it but the Plecos didn't really love it, so I may be trying again now that my buddy Keith is selling Rapashi. He wants me to, to try some different flavors, so I may try the Silent Green and the Bottom Scratcher. Right. That's what people are telling me to try. Yeah, yeah. So what I found was, you know, they, I mean, we will vary it, but typically I just make a mixture. Yeah. Figure that's... They're gonna like something. Do you put it in like little uh, ice cube trays or? No, uh, we actually make it in a throwaway container, but we don't throw it away. And then we just we, we slice it up. Well, we call those are reusable. Right? <laughs> yeah. There you go. So we slice it up, yep. and uh, you know, we just feed little squares. Yeah. Yeah. So they have a nice little sink and, and, and testing setup. I see you got your your uh, test tubes over there with some other stuff. And and then uh, we got a rack of 10s and a couple 20s. So what do we have over here? Oh, 10s over here with some grow outs. Yeah, that was my oops albino tank. I was holding a, a mail for a friend and he ended up spawning. I, and I didn't think he was old enough, but he ended up spawning with the female that was in there. Yeah, a little devil. Surprise you. What do we got down below? Actually, there's three 280s down there. They're real little tiny. They're, they're the ones that max out at like two and a half inches. Oh, yeah. I yeah, see in the little caves. There's a tail. Yeah, yeah, yeah tail I see that one. Out. Yep. Um, they haven't done That's anything. another project. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't done anything for us yet either. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm telling you, you got to try the Barry White trick. I'm telling you. I've got to do something. Uh, see, they have the Cobalt Smart Team and one of my favorite fry foods. All right. Yeah, that's the roast fish. Get that. Yeah. Um, in that twenty, in that twenty long there, we have one ninety nine. Oh, one ninety nine. No babies though. No, I just bought those the same time I bought the contradens um, from Jason King. So they came the same day. So they've only been here for maybe about a month. Yeah. Yeah. I love the, this cave. Yeah. 
looks great. And more dither fish. More dither yeah. fish, yeah. Actually, tetras that actually spawned in here. Really? They did. There's two, two or three little tetra babies in here somewhere. That's pretty with cool. The what? Rice fish. Oh, rice fish babies. I didn't babies. realize that they had spawned in there, and, and a, then I, a shrimp. And there's a couple shrimp in there. Fried shrimp. Yeah. Green shrimp, red shrimp. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm like six. I can't. Anytime someone says, "Oh, look, shrimp," I'm always like, "Fried shrimp, shrimp parmesan, garlic shrimp." Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, where are we? Oh, we down here. We still have somewhat grow out reds. Yes, they were some of the ones I just couldn't catch when I moved the other one mm -hmm. the other day. And I got tired. They're little buggers to catch sometimes. All right, this is my kind of tank right here. I see floating plants and algae. There and is um, black lame rice fish babies. Oh, in there. there's one right They're there. They're egg layers, right? Mm -hmm, there's one right there. Look how cool. I don't know if you guys. They're hard to pick up. But he's oh, he just, he just moved, but he was over there. <laughs> I like this lid too. Yeah. So this is the the just two pieces of glass in the little corner track. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen. I've, yep. I've considered making these. I, I hardly have lids on my tanks because I'm lazy, but, you know. We find yeah. our water level stays better with lids. Yeah. I, it's a pain, but sometimes. I mean, I put 10% water change every day while I'm sleeping. Well, I haven't slept much lately, but, you know, normally while I'm sleeping. And then here we have more. Some, just, it's just a mixed tank of Caradina shrimp. Kind of ones I had left over. I'll probably eventually move them out so my rice fish have a little bit more room. And these are the those are the rice um, fish grow out? orange medicas. Yep, the first babies that yeah. we had. Green, um, green jade shrimp. Love the tank. This is my style. Mm -hmm. And then up top, you got some cinnamon some, for the cappuccinos. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually golden pearls. <laughs> um, fry food that I just yep. shake in there for yep. the tiny, sure. tiny babies. Um, itty bitty babies. Yeah, they're itty bitty ones. Yeah. Um, the last couple spawns of the race fish. And, and I see the, some. Um, daisies blue. Yeah, I see them. Sorry right. for the, the right. blue right. fan right. noise. What are we moving the map? Out, like every two weeks. I was, um, but until we get those other tanks set up, it was kind of hard to keep doing it in two weeks. And we have more um, shrimp. Just a wide variety of different me and Caradina We shrimp. moved They're, those shrimp from I moved upstairs. Six in there. We moved them down here, and it was six. Yeah. And, then and were we were crazy. really sad. You know, if they die, they die. And I yeah. like oh. all. <laughs> There were six, now there's 600. Try. Yeah, that was the thing. that's the best time. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when I walked in, I did see two tanks upstairs. Are there any more upstairs? Uh, the seventh, you saw the 75, mm -hmm. um, the one shrimp tank in the TV room upstairs still. And our son has a parrotfish. He has a parrotfish in his room. And then how many tanks are here? Two, nine, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27 tanks. Not bad. I, I like this space. I mean, there's plenty of room to work. Look, they, yes. they, they've they taped off for another rack of 20s and then a rack of 10s. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they have their, their step stools. They have their little shelf for food. There's some storage back here. I'm assuming storage back there. Yeah. So it's a great little fish room. Um, I'm assuming a Gemco air pump running the fish yes. room. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. See, they have yeah. the airline running up along the perimeter. And manual water changes, which <laughs> I've already made fun of them for. Hopefully, you know what? Okay, what's the what's the plants? Oh, just God, cleaning. Just, um, I, I, I think that Oga was like, "Don't don't film that." I'm sorry. Yeah, it's just cuttings. Cuttings that come off of the ones when I take the stuff out of there that I just haven't had time to do anything with. Okay. Um, I had some chola wood, so I was going to try to tie some of that stuff there. And yeah, little projects. Trying to grow out some moss for the rice fish projects. Okay. So they have stuff to lay eggs in. All right, I'm going to ask you three questions now. Uh -oh. Favorite food to feed plecos? I stumped them. Probably the bottom scratcher pellets. Whatever you call these things. Oh, yeah. The um, extreme. Oh, yeah. I. They have been a staple. Yeah. Ever since oh, the beginning. I yeah. use them. Yeah. Um, Rachel O'Leary sold us our first reds, and that was one of the foods that she told us to use, and we've bought them ever since. So yeah. So, a couple times, 
mixed in with the other stuff that we talked about before. And probably other than that, it's probably the kelp wafers, the end of blood worm uh, rods, the mini mini rods. Where do you get those? Uh, you order them online. Yeah, it's online. Uh, aqua foods, aquatic foods, maybe. I mean, the rapache is easy. Yeah. Like well, it. I mean, you see, the we swap. Wafers, yeah. Yeah. We feed different foods every three days. Yeah. So we, I go. We kind of alternate. Yeah. I go um, kelp wafers, bottom scratcher, uh, shrimp and veggie pellets from Cobalt. Um, we tried those too. Bug, yeah, we've had those before. Bug Pro from North Finn. Yep. We've tried that too. And that's then the canned green beans. Yep. And I, that's how I kind of rotate. Yep. I do a lot of canned green beans for the smaller plecos. Yeah. The babies, they like those. Yeah, yeah. They're um, kind of mixed in with our veggie day. Yeah. They get mixed so, in but we usually don't use those. We only put the green beans in the tanks with uh, babies. Okay. Well, guys, thank you so much. I really love your setup. It's it's Thanks. it's really nice, and I appreciate you letting me film. Thanks for doing it. No problem. See ya. Bye. Bye.